Hi, thank you for tuning in to Three Minutes of Inspiration. My name is Angie and I am here to hopefully inspire you and push you to that next level in Christ so that you can reach your full potential. We all have been fought by the enemy, you know, and being stagnated so that we cannot reach our fullest potential in Christ. But this channel was inspired to do this the opposite, to push you into that next level so that you can go higher in the things of God because there are more and more things God want to do in your life. And so today we're going to even talk about the subject of hiding in the shadow of the Almighty. And I'm going to be reading to you from Psalms 91. And that's a good place to start. I'm going to be reading from the Amplified Virgin. And he who dwells in a secret place of the Most High shall remain stable and fixed under the shadow of the Almighty, quotation, whose power no foe can withstand. So just stopping and pausing right there. God said when we come into his secret place, he's offering us stability. He's offering to fix us. He's offering those things that we have come to him and with concerns that we brought from. He said in that place when you remained in me, that I will give you stability. I will make you stable. You won't be double minded. You won't be to and fro because I'm going to bring you stability only when you come in this secret place. This place where you're off the grid and the enemy cannot find you. And he said, then I'm going to fix you under my shadow. He's going to those things that he needs to break off us and deliver us from. He said, when you remain in me, I'm going to do a great work in you. And so God wants to wants to fix us in those different areas. And then I also want to reach down to the verse uh, seven where he talks about protection. He said a thousand may fall at your side and 10,000 at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. So remember what you're going through. He said that you might see it, but it won't touch you. You might hear about it, but it won't touch you. He said, you, you will witness it, but it won't come near your family. You might experience some things in your life that you can understand why this happened to me. And, and, and God said, I was protecting you from things that you know was supposed to happen but because this scripture because you remain faithful because you remain in my shadow he said I'm not going to let it touch you he said and in verse 8 he said only a spectator shall you be you are in this your, yourself is inaccessible in this secret place of the most high as you will witness the reward of the wicked so that is this awesome right there he said you're going to see it, but it won't come near you. You'll only be a spectator of the damage going on around you spiritually, the warfare. He said, you'll, you'll see it, but you won't, it won't affect you is what he's saying. He's saying that you would, you will see the reward of the wicked. And that scripture comes to mind that he will lay up the wealth of the wicked for the just. And so we just thank God for that. We thank him for this scripture on today to remind us that we have a place that we can abide in him and he will abide in us. So I just want to leave you with that. That whatever you're going through, that God say, if you come into this secret place, not only will you be stable, but he will fix you. And thirdly, he said that you will have protection and that you will only witness. You will only see it afar off. You It won't even affect you and that you will still be able to give God praise. Hi, thank you for tuning in to Three Minutes of Inspiration. I hope something was said to encourage you throughout your day. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share this channel if you were fed on this channel. Please share with your friend. Push someone else to the next level in their destiny. Um, we will have new videos posted once a week on Friday, so please stay tuned and see you next time.